John Locke. Reading furnishes the mind only with materials of knowledge, it is thinking that makes what we read ours. New opinions are always suspected, and usually opposed, without any other reason but because they are not common. The only defense against the world is a thorough knowledge of it. We are like chameleons, we take our hue and the color of our moral character, from those who are around us. Parents wonder why the streams are bitter, when they themselves poison the fountain. To love truth for truth's sake is the principal part of human perfection in this world, and the seed plot of all other virtues. Education begins the gentleman, but reading, good company and reflection must finish him. To prejudge other men's notions before we have looked into them is not to show their darkness but to put out our own eyes. New opinions are always suspected, and usually opposed, without any other reason but because they are not already common. No man's knowledge here can go beyond his experience. I have always thought the actions of men the best interpreters of their thoughts. Men being, as has been said, by nature, all free, equal and independent, no one can be put out of this. The state of nature has a law of nature to govern it, which obliges every one, and reason, which is that law, teaches all mankind, who will but consult it, that being all equal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty, or possessions. Our business here is not to know all things, but those which concern our conduct. A sound mind in a sound body, is a short, but full description of a happy state in this world, he that has these two, has little more to wish for, and he that wants either of them, will be little better for anything else. A man has perfect liberty over his conscience, the liberty of judgment. If the magistrate commands what has already been divinely commanded, then the citizen is obliged to obey and such laws cannot be unjust for they do not bind a man's conscience or his action.